Hi beautiful people, my name is Danielle and welcome to, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing All American Season 4 and I am so excited too, so let's get right into the video. I first of all want to say that the All American Writers Room should literally like hire me because I predicted a lot of stuff in my last video for Season 3, so if you haven't watched that, go check it out. And yeah, I think I deserve to be put in the writer's room, maybe a little cameo in the show, put me in as an extra, give me some of Layla's costumes and outfits. Like I deserve something because I was giving y'all ideas. Like let's be honest, I, I gave it to you and you just took it from me and I'm so happy you did. Like all of my TV reviews, we're gonna talk about the plot, the characters, and what I'm looking forward to for the next season. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with the parents. I wanna talk about Billy. I, okay, I was mad at Billy at the beginning of the season because he was fighting with Spencer, but I also understand like why he was so mad because Spencer put Jordan's life in danger, but at the same time he shouldn't have taken out on Spencer, but he's had his issues with Jordan as well. It's a lot, but I really like Billy. I love seeing him in this new like phase of life as like an empty nester kind of and just helping the kids out not as a coach but more as like a dad and a father figure and I love that he's principal of South Crenshaw High now I love it so much his dynamic with Preach I absolutely adore I absolutely love it so much with Laura I started to really love Laura this season I just like her placement in the show I love her and Billy's relationship I think they're super cute and I'm just happy that she continues to play such an important role and I'm excited for Coop and Laura next season I'm gonna talk about GW because he did play a bit of an important role this season. I hope that GW comes back and I'm really happy that he didn't die because I thought that he was dead and I was like, no. For Preach, I love that Preach is teaching at the school. Like, I think that is the most perfect thing for Preach. I love Preach. I think he's a great character. I love his character so much. I'm just so happy that he's at the school with the kids. He fits in so perfectly and the dynamic between Preach and Billy is really, really fun. So I love it. And lastly is Miss Grace. First of all, 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 I want to say that I I called Miss Grace and Principal Carter getting married in my last video. I literally said, I literally said, I will play the clip so you can all see. Maybe in two seasons we'll see a wedding between him and Miss Grace. We'll see what happens. And I was right. And I was right because next season, next season we will be. Miss Grace played a really fun role this season. I just love her dynamic with all the adults and the kids and with Spencer especially and with Dylan. Miss Grace is one of my favorite characters so I love her and I'm excited for her next season. Now we're going to talk about Coop. First of all at the beginning of the season we didn't even know if Coop was alive. I wanted her to stay alive for Spencer. I also kind of wanted her to die because I didn't really like the way that they were writing Coop. But now I actually really appreciate Coop as a character and I really love her so I'm excited to see what she has next season. I think she's a great storyline coming and I really enjoyed it. I am also kind of happy that she broke up with patients. I I feel like that was like a relationship that just needed some space. They've been together for so long and you know sometimes it's just not always that person. So happy for Coop and I'm really excited for what's next for her. For patience. I really love patience like in the prior seasons but this season I was just not really feeling patience. I feel like her character just became really annoying. Very kind of like just not so centered, but like she just wasn't acting the way she normally does. Maybe that's an aftermath of her and Coop's breakup or just, you know, all that's going on in her life. I'm hoping that Patience get a, a better storyline next season and that we get to see a bit more of her like developing. But I do like her music, her career, or with Sabine. I like that. I like that duo. I need to I need to hear a song together with them. I want to see the two of them together in the studio. So that's what I want. Too. Next up, I'm going to talk about JJ. I've actually never discussed JJ before. He never really played an important role to me, but now I think he is such an important character. I've always loved JJ. I think he's just so much fun, but I think as we peel back the curtains, we're learning so much more about JJ, and so I'm really happy that we are. I hope that he continues to play the role that he's playing in the show now, and I just hope that like we get to see more of who JJ is and why JJ is the way that he is, because he's like the glue of the friend group, and I love that. Like I love the way that they in his character but I want to get to know JJ more like he said in the murder mystery party like he feels as if the group doesn't really care about the relationship but JJ's always the one like fighting for it and I love that about him so I hope that we get to see more of JJ as a person outside of the group next up is Asher so this season Asher did exactly what I said that he would do which I'll play the clip again I think Asher's just gonna become a coach later on because of the way that the season ended and I'm really happy that he did he's been such a supportive friend to everybody else and I absolutely love it for him because I cannot imagine like having something you love so much be 
stripped away from you and you really can't do anything about it but everyone around you is still being able to do that like that sounds so hard he took it so well and i love that he has been so supportive for everyone being a coach for everybody and just like being there for everyone like he has been one of the best friends on the whole entire show i'm happy for him that he gets to go go to coastal and you know coach and learn about that i'm i knew that he would be doing that so i'm happy that he is also him with jamie i was not expecting that at all that episode i was like oh maybe they'll do something but i didn't expect it to keep on going and i'm happy that he's with jamie i'm really happy that he got out of the vortex and he is you know in love and i think that's super cute i'm excited for asher next season and i hope that him and spencer stop fighting because i don't like i don't like when they're fighting I don't like when friend group is like in bad vibes because I love their friend group like I wish I had a friend group like that whenever they're like mad at each other or there's like strife in their friend group like it makes me mad I hope that they like kind of ease up on their friendship as much and as important as football is like I hope that they can take football out of their friendship in the core of that because that's really important and so yeah I love Asher because he just he's great and I love his new like close relationship with Coop because he definitely didn't have that before I just love their dynamic. I think they're such a cool like duo and I want to see more of them as well. Now we're going to get into four more characters that are super important I think and so we're going to start off with Olivia. Olivia this season, I okay I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I've never really liked Olivia. I think I said that before in my last video. Olivia was just never my favorite character because she kind of just annoyed me but I actually really liked Olivia this season. I think that she was really great in her journalism era you know just trying to be a good friend to everybody and I'm excited to see what she does next with her job at the LA Tribune and all that stuff. I really like that. I love that she was trying to make sure that the girls were all still good after, you know, Coop and Patience's breakup and Layla just being Layla. So I really appreciate Olivia more now. With her and Spencer, though, I think their relationship needs to end. I know that sounds terrible, but I don't, okay, I don't necessarily want it to end, but I want them to go on a break because I think they just need some time like away from each other because I think college, and I, I'll discuss this more later, but like I feel like when you're in college, like that is such an, an integral time of your life where you're learning more about yourself and I just don't really think that it's best to have a relationship in that time. I want them to separate and just like take some time away from each other get to know themselves in college without having someone to depend on or this or that and see like what they like who they are and what they want and then they can decide if they want to come back to each other but the way that they keep fighting and you know just butting heads it's not very healthy to me for spencer i love spencer i've always said it spencer is one of my favorite characters he's also the main character so you kind of need to love him this season was really hard to watch him just spencer always be making decisions the superhero savior complex that both spencer and olivia have are part of the reasons why i have issues with the two of them and their relationship specifically with spencer like the whole trophy thing and then him not getting to walk for graduation made me literally so mad trying to get a deal dropping toledo state now going to gau all that stuff and then getting into college and not being able to transition i'm excited for what spencer is doing at gau i think he has a great you know season coming up and as a starter that's super cool i want the best for spencer i'm always I'm, i will always be rooting for spencer and i'll always be rooting for daniel as because he's a great actor as well next up is Something that I have been waiting to be able to talk about for so long. I've been waiting for it to be canon for so long. I've been dreaming of this day. I've been dreaming of this day since season one. I don't know. Something something clicked in me and I knew that I was going to have it. I knew it was going to happen. And I predicted it in my video. So I'm going to run that clip now. Number one thing I want to talk about for season four is I want Layla and Jordan together. I... I'm so excited to talk about Jordan and Layla because it has been a long time coming and I'm just so happy for the two of them. But I'm going to talk about Jordan first and then I'll talk about Layla. So Jordan, first of all, I love Jordan as a character. He's a dumb boy sometimes. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. He gets too butthurt sometimes. He does not think a lot, but he has such a, he's a heart of he has a heart of gold and I love that for him like I I think that's so sweet I love I love Jordan Baker I love Jordan Baker I love Michael Evans Bailey too him and Simone I was surprised that they were staying together with All American Homecoming and her going to Brinkston and that one episode of All American Homecoming that we watched season three like there was sexual tension between Simone and Damien and then 
you know, watching this season, the tension between Layla and Jordan, and it started season three as well. When it came to the episode where Simone came back, I had a feeling that what I was hoping was gonna happen. I am happy that the two of them broke up. I think it's the best for them because with Homecoming, now Simone can be with Damien, and with All American, Jordan and Layla are together, and I'm so happy. I think Jordan has gone through so much growth this season. I'm so happy for who he is as a person now. Like, I feel like he's just more confident in himself, and he's more secure in, like, who he is. He is now the starting quarterback for the team, which is really great, and he, like, really worked hard, so I'm, I'm really happy for that. Now for Layla. Layla's always my favorite character. I'll start off by saying that, and so it was hard to watch this season because she just kept pushing everybody and everything away, and I was like, Layla, you are so loved like everyone loves you you just gotta lean into the love and so when she finally opened up and talked to Jordan I was super happy super excited and she reconciled with Carrie as well like really really great Layla has such a special place in my heart like her character and everything she's been through because I really relate to Layla as a character and I also love Greta like Greta's a queen love her so much it's really exciting to see Layla in a more like happy place and you know being a boss lady running um for Monica records I, I really really love seeing her do that and you know growth I think growth is a very big thing in this season in the show and I love seeing the growth of Layla for Layla and Jordan I okay let's just begin I've been calling it since season one but it wasn't until season three I think it was literally Jordan's wedding day or like about that time that I started seeing they were having more scenes together and I was really excited because I, I love the dynamic between the two of them. As the season went on, they kept spending more and more time together and I low-key wanted Jordan to cheat on Simone, but I'm very happy that he didn't. And when Simone broke up with Jordan, it meant so much more, I feel like, because it wasn't that he ever cheated on her and I'm really happy and it shows Jordan's growth as a person as well because I feel like a Jordan in like previous seasons would have so cheated on Simone so quickly but he really really loves Simone and Jordan finally said it and admitted it to Layla I was so excited and so happy but I was not expecting Layla to be like no but I think that they still have so much to go through and, and like to love like I I love the slow burn I love that they made us wait I at, at first I was hating it but when we finally got it this is what I always say you hate a slow burn while you're watching it but when it finally gets to what you want it's so much more worth it like you just love it even more and that's how I feel about this slow burn and I'm so excited for season five because oh my gosh it's gonna be great it's gonna be so Great. I'm so excited. Okay, moving on to the plot of this season. So we start off the season with the end of senior year. I really love this time. It was a little bit of a stressful time because we didn't know where everyone was going to go to college. I'm very happy that everyone stayed local. We had a little bit of time without football, which is really, really nice. And so I just loved it. And I think it was really great. I do think that when they transitioned to college, you could tell the transition was happening. This was by far my favorite season of All-American. It was the best season. It was so much growth. And it was so beautiful because it showed the transition into college and how hard it can be and how everyone was struggling with that transition out of high school in their own different ways. I love being able to see that for Spencer and for Layla and for Olivia and for Jordan and just trying to figure out like who are you like outside of high school because I feel like when we are still in high school you put a lot of like your identity in like school. With college you can't really do that and so I just love the, the transition. Like this whole season really felt more mature. I feel like we just really got to talk about more realistic adult things but also there was a lot more talk of sex in this season and honestly I appreciated it. It's realistic. It was very realistic. I love that it was it just showed how much like they're older they're adults they can make those decisions about themselves and everyone was just living their best lives and I love to see it. It felt as if the actors were being able to act more like themselves. I don't know how else to explain it because obviously the actors are in their like mid to late, maybe early 20s. Being able to play college students meant like, you. I mean, they had facial hair and they styled their hair differently and wore different outfits. Like they showed how like you grow up, like they are adults now and they are like living life. And so I really, really loved that transition and, and seeing them struggle, but also learn from their struggles and growth. Like I keep saying, this whole season was a lot of growth and it's definitely a season that I know I'm gonna come back to and watch again when I'm in college and when I'm going through those transitionings because it's hard like life is hard and life changes but you got to keep on going with it and it'll get better and we definitely saw that so I really love that and to conclude the video I want to talk about what I want to see for season five we do this every time and I'm hoping that some of this stuff gets put into season five so all American writers listen to me 
and credit me credit me in the credits i would love or just send me a little care package you know send me that pink dress that layla wore to prom you know like just let me know what you need i'm gonna give it to you and then you can send me stuff first thing that i want to see for american season 5 is jordan and layla official i need to see it i must see it i have to see it i need them on dates i need them in love i need them just really living it up i need to see it next thing that i want to see in season five is spencer and live on a break as i discussed before i just think that they need time apart to grow and then hopefully to come together if that is what they want but if they don't then maybe they're not meant to be together and that's completely fine and if they don't get back together then i want to see them as friends and really you know being best friends because i think that they are a great relationship that needs to stay but maybe not as a romantic one I predicted, I predicted this, but I cannot wait to see Miss Grace get married. I want a whole wedding episode. I want to see them in Oakland. I want to see all of it. I hope that we continue to see Dylan in the show. I really do want to see Dylan play a more important role as he gets older. Definitely want to see the wedding. I want to see Miss Grace married and happy and living her best life. I am really excited for her and so I want to see that. Even though they're not in LA and they're in Oakland, like, I want to see that as well. Obviously, we ended the season with Clay receiving Keating records from Layla's dad, which we were not expecting. And I want to see Layla get Kitty records from Clay. Like I want, I want her to win the fight. So I want that to happen. I want closure for them. I know closure isn't real, but like I want some because I don't like the way that Clay just ripped up that letter and threw it in the trash. Like, are you serious with me right now? She's trying to make amends and you're making it worse. So I just want to see how that dynamic will be because I know it's going to be hard for Layla especially. And I, I just, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. That is everything that I want to see. I want to again say thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you really enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment down below. What do you think about season four of All American? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content from me. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great, great day. Bye.